with a round of applause, let us welcome Lady Julia Osaititu. Thank you very much for your attention. Ago! Ago! Oduduwa wonge shie mwaha. Wanya suntem. Lady Julia. Obrimpong. Okatechi. Usukuma ayasu with you. Inti kasa. 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 Kong kong. Kong kong. Kong kong. Medamasi. Thank you so much for that beautiful appellation. Um, I think I would like to say I'm also a very proud member of the 1986 year group. And I have here with me my, the president of the year group and the treasurer. So I'd like them to also join me up here. Ms. Amabewa and Charlene Poku. Lady President, Madam Guest Speaker, permit me to use the very popular Ghanaian phrase due to time, the time factor. So I will say all other protocols observed. I'm not going to talk too much because I know everybody's tired, but just a few, a few remarks. I bring you hearty greetings and warmest congratulations from His Majesty Utumfo Seitutu II, who is a big, big fan of our dear school. He is so proud of our products and just enchanted by the ladies that this school churns out. Permit me, Lady President, to also express my own heartfelt my own heartfelt appreciation for inviting me to join you today to be part of this very special event. I also congratulate the headmistress and staff and our smart and beautiful young ladies who are tasked with the responsibility to maintain and improve the high standards set by our forebears and particularly the proud 99 year group and other supporting year groups who are hosting us today. Lady President, the theme for this year's speech and prize giving, 183 years of girls education, reflections on the past, strategizing for the future. I deem this theme most appropriate when one considers the journey thus far in the quest to achieve parity in the education of girls and boys in our dear country. But it is instructive to note that even before the world woke up to the importance of girls' education, the founders of our dear school had conceived and actually planted the seed that blazed the trail, not just for girls' education, but also high school education overall. Looking at our beautiful school and looking at this at Waldron House, which housed me for some, for some seven years before all the educational reforms took place, 
I've been sitting here reminiscing over the beautiful days, the beautiful friendships, the experiences, and all the beautiful people I met on my way through this school. I'm glad to hear from the, as the head girl was saying, the scrubbing is still going on. I remember it very, very well. Also, I remember the occasional visit to Atra Lane, late night visits after talking too much in the dormitory. <laughs> Pillar. <laughs> This school gave me some of the most beautiful years of my life. And I hope that all those young ladies here will, are also taking the time whilst learning to also enjoy and gain some of the experiences that this school has to offer. Not to talk too much I would entreat our daughters here to live by our school motto. I think it's one of the best mottos that one can, can carry one through life. To live pure, especially in these days where social media and all sorts of, of, of um, media are bombarding us with all sorts of ideas and all sorts of interest, interesting things. I would encourage our young girls to live pure. Also, I would encourage them to speak true in all times. As we all know, there is one, only one truth, and the truth, as they say, will always set you free. I would also encourage you to right wrong. I think all girls of this school are known for that. We shine wherever we are, and we right the wrong wherever we are to make this world a better place. So I will encourage you to go on with that. And also, follow the King, our dear Lord, who sees us through everything else. I think that if our young girls stick to this motto and go through, it will serve them well. And it will also serve Wesley Girls well for the next 183 years. <clears throat> to cut things short, I would like to say I think the rest is to try and encourage the school as much as possible to continue with the good deeds so that they will continue to churn out the ladies of excellence that we have come to be associated with. And with this regard, on behalf of the Otum Four Charity Foundation, we would like to present 20 computers, five printers, and five photocopiers to help with the school in its teaching. We have also brought with us a 32-seater bus, which we donate to the school to ease the problems with transportation that we have, have come to be told about. I'm also happy to say that we are in discussions with the Ministry of Education to help provide accommodation, more accommodation for teaching and working staff. We've heard of the problems with the bungalows and families having to share with other families, which we think um, is not right and will not help promote the school and help with the teaching that is so necessary here. So we are in serious discussions with the Ministry of Education 
and I'm sure you will be hearing from us soon when we come to cut the sword for work to begin. I think I will bring my words to an end here as everybody's tired and thank you so much. <laughs>